you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll get back to Christy, but I have to just say this. She just walked off the stage. She is so highly respected in Washington, D.C., which is a very swampy place, very, <laughs> very evil kind of a place in certain ways. But I have to tell you, she is respected by everybody. She has done a fantastic job. And you're going to have a great governor. You're going to have a great governor. And speaking of great governors, Dennis Dugard is here. Where's Dennis? Where is he? He has been a great, great governor. Thank you. Dennis, thank you. Dennis and Linda, thank you very much. And Senator Mike Rounds, where's Mike? Mike, where are you, Mike? Thank you, Mike. What a job. And Gene, thank you, Mike. Mike's been a tremendous help. You know, uh, we have a very, very tall, wonderful senator here. Do we know our, our guy, right? Where's John? John Thune, who is? Thank you, John. Thank you for being here. Mike and John have been so helpful to all of the things. We're going to go over them. But all of the things that we've done, those two have been there every inch of the way, and we really appreciate it. John, Mike, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Fantastic. And, you know, you have uh, Dusty Johnson. Where's Dusty? Where's Dusty? Where's Dusty? We got to get our two cents in here. Come on, Dusty. At large. There he is. Raise that hand, Dusty. Going to be your next congressman, right, Dusty? Thank you very much, Dusty, for coming. We appreciate it. And somebody that's been very helpful to me all the way along the line and been really great and running with Christy. They run as a team, and that's Larry Roden. Larry? Thank you. Where's Larry? Thank you, Larry. Great job. That's a good team. I would say maybe it could even be a great team, Larry. So. Really good. I, we appreciate it very much. Uh, we just want to thank you. You have some great folks in South Dakota. And uh, I wanted to come here and just pay my respects. What the heck? I mean, it's not that far, right? And you were very, very good to me on that very special day in November, almost two years ago. Can you imagine? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The time, how time flies. Thank you. I love that banner. Look at that. Hold that up. I love Thank you. Thank you, Dolly. I appreciate it very much. So Christy's in a race. I'm here for Christy, and we're all here for Christy. She's in a race. It's going to be a tough race. But she is somebody that's going to really take care of the folks that are in this room and in this state. And I've done a little research on Billy Sutton, and I feel I had to. And Billy proposed hiking the South Dakota sales tax by $128 million. That's not good. That's not good. That's not a positive, right? You know, these tax hikers, they're not positives. By the way, while I'm at it, Christy was one of the people most instrumental in getting us the massive tax reduction that you got. And it was really, really big. The tax cut. Remember the tax cut, cut, cut plan? They said, what should we name the plan? I said, the tax cut, cut, cut. Because I couldn't understand. They couldn't pass it since Ronald Reagan. Ours is the biggest ever passed. And they couldn't get anything passed. So Mike Rounds and John Thune, they came up and we were talking. And we were all together, a whole group of us. And I said, I don't understand how you can't pass tax cuts. Could somebody explain? And then I looked at bills, and everything was the reform, tax reform. I said, but reform could mean tax increases, right? I said, no wonder you couldn't get anything passed. Nobody knew what was going on. And they said, what would you like it to be? I'd say, the tax cut, 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 cut bill of. And they didn't like that. They thought that was a little hokey. So we didn't. But we call it the tax cut and reform, or the tax cut and jobs. And it worked out quite well. We got it done. But uh, I will say this. We didn't get — I don't think we got a Democrat to vote for it. We got nobody to vote for it. 
And it's one of the things that's making our country tick. That regulation cutting. So, Billy wants to take the taxpayers and have them pay for health care benefits for illegal aliens. I don't like that. I don't like that. Somehow, that doesn't work. How about this guy in California? He's running for governor of California, and he wants to have open borders so that the whole world can come in. And when they come in, he wants to give them free education, free medical, free health care. He wants to give them free everything. I said, but the whole world is going to go to California, and they're going to be able to walk in and say, I want my health care now. You might have five, six, seven hundred million people. We could double our population in about two months of the United States. They'll say, we just went from 350 million people to 700 million people. And it all took place over a period of three months. And they all live in California, and what a mess. What a mess. I don't get it. Yeah, oh, we're building the wall. We're building the wall. Not only building it, we've already started it. We've started the wall. Billion six last year, billion six this year. We're uh, moving it rapidly in San Diego and other parts of the country. We're picking the locations that are worse. Oh, by the way, it works so easily. It works. They say walls don't work. Tell Israel that the wall didn't work. They put up their wall, which is a series of very strong fences. I think they have, like, one percent coming across. You'll have nobody coming across. Uh, they work, and they have to work, because we are being inundated. We really have the worst laws. You know, I've said it a lot. History of any country, we have laws, catch and release. You catch them. You release them. And you tell them, come back and get you a hearing. Uh, in three years, please. <laughs> and they don't understand what you're saying because they don't speak the language. <laughs> and many of them are greeted by lawyers at the border. You know that, right? You know, you have lawyers standing at the border saying, repeat after me. I've been abused. I need safety. It is for my personal health. Oh, okay. Congratulations, you've just become a citizen of the United States of America. I, I have to tell you, folks, this country, what they're doing is crazy what's happening. It's crazy. It's not rational. I think they're so, they're so, and I, I say it, they're so incensed and so wild over the fact that we easily won an election that they were expected to win. That, that they're no longer rational. No. They're no longer rational. They become lunatics. Have you seen? So we have a great judge named Kavanaugh. And, and hopefully in a short period of time, like October 1st, but hopefully we'll give him a few days earlier than that, but opening of the Supreme Court, he'll be sitting there very proudly. But he's a great gentleman. He's a great scholar, great mind, great intellect, and a nice person. And the screaming and the shouting and the the court system and the system itself is horrible. We're all running president. I hope. I hope. <laughs> We dream about them. We dream about them. No, but the nastiness. Uh, you heard the statements and the shouting. You heard all of the different statements. Uh, did somebody say Spartacus? <laughs> did you look at our beautiful movie, Spartacus? Somebody say Spartacus? <laughs> did you look at our beautiful movie, Spartacus? with Douglas, right? Kirk Douglas. He's not... Right? That is not... Now, Kirk... That was... But... No...
board, but they, they really have gone, they've gone totally over the edge. And you can't do the things they want. It doesn't work for them. I was with... John, I could ask this question. I've been asking this question for a long time. Thank you.